Hey YouTube, this is John Hammond. More on Pico CTF 2018. This challenge is called Strings for 100 points. It says, can you find the flag in this file without actually running it? You can find the file here at this location on the shell server, but we're given a download, so we can just go ahead and copy that. I will wget it into my directory here, and it's going to take a little bit. I guess my internet just sucks. Okay, now that that's finally done, we can take a look at what this is. I kind of already have an inkling as to what to do and how to solve this, considering the challenge prompt, but it looks like an executable, so let's just kind of play along, mark this as executable, and run it. It says, have you ever used the strings function? Check out the man pages. So if you want to check out man strings, you totally could, but it will just print the strings for printable characters in specific files. So we can just pass along the file as an argument to this. So let's run strings, and the file is literally called string. So that's not, I don't mean for it to be confusing, but uh, maybe that's just as we see here. So it gets all the strings out of it. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, you could scroll through it if you particularly wanted to, but it looks like it's even more of my terminal history that I can't scroll past. So what I'm going to do is actually just grep again for the flag format, and I will just use picoctf with... Um, the regular expressions to go ahead and get the insides of the flag, and I'll disable the color there. So simply that will give us the flag. We can go ahead and submit that if we wanted to, but let's just make a simple get flag script for it. So get flag.sh, simple shebang line, chmod plus x to mark that as executable. Redirect it to flag.text, and let's grab it to our clipboard so that we can submit it. Get that 100 points. All right, cool. So let's mark that challenge as complete. Super simple. The next one that we can move on to is called Pipe. It says, during your adventure, you'll likely encounter a situation where you'll need to process data that you receive over the network rather than through a file. Can you find a way to save the output from this program and search for the flag? Connect to this. So we're given a host and port number. Let's go ahead and connect to it. What I'm going to do is actually change into the Pipe directory that I have already created. And let's connect to that host and port with Netcat. So it gives me a lot of garbage. I'm sorry, you're going to have to take another line, blah, blah, blah. This is not a flag, etc., etc. And there's just a lot of stuff. My internet connection is still crapping out. I'm going to pause this a bit. Whatever it looks like, I'll just deal. Um, the methodology can still work here if we actually get results from this service. So what I'm going to do is, just as we've done before, kind of take that output and grep through it. So wait until we get a response that is our flag. So let's go picoctf, the exact same format, format, color equals none, and then eventually we'll get the hit. It should happen pretty quickly on your side, uh, I guess because my internet just sucks at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, out pop the flag, and we can go ahead and do this. If you wanted to, you could just simply save this as our get flag script. Um, it's certainly easier or probably better on your side because your internet will work better than mine. But I'm just going to go ahead and save this and mark it as the flag. We'll go ahead and submit that. Simple stuff, right? Just a strings command. Well, at least strings command for the last one and using grep, and this time again using grep to just read through all the output that this service or this netcat connection is spitting out at us. So let's go ahead and mark that as complete. Just burning through these. Good stuff. And this next challenge is called Inspect Me for 125 points. It says, Inspect This Code. It gives us a link to a website, and we can go ahead and click that link, open it up. It says, My First Website, Intro and About. You can click on these, but there's not a whole lot here. It says, These are web skills I've been practicing, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I'm going to hit Control U, or you could right click and just say View Page Source, but Control U is a good hotkey for it on the keyboard. It says, This is my first website. And you get, to you get to see the HTML source. You get to see what it, the, the web page is actually made out of and how it's built. So it says, I learned HTML. Here's part one-third of the flag. It says, Pico CTF, your for real, inspect, and looks like we have to get the rest of it. So let's go ahead and I've got a directory created for it. I'm just going to start to build up the flag as I find pieces of it. I think we've done this before in Pico CTF 2017, but... Noting what we've just read so far, this person is trying to learn CSS and JavaScript. Let's check out those other files. You can see that they are linked up top over in the head tag of this HTML. So let's check out the myCSS.css file. There's some cool CSS, but there's also a comment that says, I learned CSS. Here's the next part of the flag. And it looks like that that is actually just the very end of the flag. If, like, you can see the format, the ending curly brace at the very end here. And if I actually were to go back and check out the myjavascript.js, it says, here's part three-thirds of the flag, and it's just simply, oh, blank space. So looks like we already just got the two flag pieces that we need from the HTML and the CSS. Let's go ahead and copy that and submit it. Nice and easy. Another 
simple challenge. Cool. All right, we can mark that challenge as complete, and we've just burned through another couple, like a few of the Pico CTF challenges, so I hope you are enjoying these. Right now, again, the challenges aren't too difficult, um, but it's certainly good to learn and look at the, some of the stuff if you haven't seen it before, so I hope it is helping some people. Quick shout-out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. Uh, I love you. <laughs> I figured the the like short, uncomfortable silence following that would just make it more more genuine. But I do love you guys. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout-out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. So in case I record a lot of content, uh, just kind of backlog it, get it ready for YouTube to gradually release it on just a schedule, you can get the content right when it's ready, right when it's done recorded, and it's, it's hot and fresh. Just out of the oven. <laughs> Thanks so much. Hey, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me grow. helps the channel grow. It's awesome. Please do join our Discord server, link in the description. Cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You can hang out with me and other awesome people. A lot of smart dudes in there. Certainly more smarter than, I'm, than me. Smarter than I am. Look at that. I'm, just, I'm being stupid even right now. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you on Patreon. I love you. Take it easy.